up, y'all? How y'all doing? My name is Wasachi, and this is my guy. Wasachi. And we are ETE. E -E. <laughs> so for the people who don't know, let them know what y'all did. Basically, we make hits. Oh, I hits. mean, hits. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? But nobody <laughs> know about us yet. But they going to know. This coming summer, man, we got some bangers coming. Like, bangers. We got Flame. <laughs> we got Double S featuring ETE coming out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We can't forget about oh, The World is Yours. My man, it's Trizzle oh, yeah. Banger. Got Trizzle Banger. So, out. it's like, we got a lot of bangers coming out. A lot of music on music. Music on music. Yeah. That's all we do. We don't stop. We don't stop. <laughs> we don't stop. Like, we don't stop. I don't think nothing's going to stop this. Y'all yeah, been working together for a while now? Uh, for a year. Almost a year. Almost. I met these guys mm -hmm. like at the end of last year, for real. And now we kind of mm -hmm. correlating and trying to get this music done. So we kind of working together for a couple months mm -hmm. now. It's been since like, since like last year. Yeah, yeah, since last year. Our first time meeting each other, we, were, <laughs> we made a banger. As soon as we met, yeah. <laughs> soon as we, we met each other, we made, each other, we we made a banger. banger. It was called Big Flex, you Big know what Flex. I'm saying? I, and it's I, still banging. Eat. Pretty sure it's still at the start next to it on iTunes. So <laughs> y'all got to go get that. Indeed. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? We just gonna keep making these bangers. And I'm um, smoking weed. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get this bump lit. Yeah. I'm smoking weed for... Alright, so are y'all a team now or are y'all still solo artists that's working together? Um, um, so the answer to that is... We are a team, but we also, when we do solo things, we also solo, we also solo artists. Yeah, so we like so everything. We everything at <laughs> once, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Like our group, we kind of open arms, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We, we just eat the earth, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So so if you feel like you eat the earth, you are eat the earth. You feel what I'm saying? You eat to eat too. So that's how we put that's it. So we, um, we, put it. It, we all just make music. When we make music together, we put it out together. Mm -hmm. And when we make music, it's like... On our solo things, we put it out. It's like okay. a solo project, but we got a beat maker too. So it's like oh, we yeah. never out of the loop. You Shout know what I'm saying? Team. Shout fatality. Out fatality, fatality. You know what I'm saying? Beats. So we never yeah. out of the loop. Nah. So that's all it is, bro. Yeah. Uh, so you say you got a beat maker? Is it anybody else a part of the team, or is it mm -hmm. just y'all three? Oh, it's me, Moolah, Moolah, La. She just not here. She's just not here right now. We love her though. And um, you can't forget about our art maker, Mark. You know what I'm saying? He's like a uh, Picasso of our ages. You know what I'm saying? Like really nice with the uh, with the art. So we got Mark, and we definitely can't forget about the head honcho. Neat. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the master. That's like, the master. That's master splinter. Yeah, we like, all like ninja turtles. Yeah, we like the ninja turtles. He master splinter. We just, so he just so. come through and just yeah. knock everything down. He just. Master, you know, he master the goat. Yeah. He the goat. Being as though y'all with solo artists and came together, do y'all find it hard working together? Um, no, no, we just vibe. <laughs> the vibe be there. Like, we <laughs> yeah. create. So yeah, we create. So it's man. like once the vibe there, it don't even matter. Yeah. Like he can lay a hook down instantly. All right, I'm just gonna go freestyle. Mm -hmm. I'll lay a hook down. He write, but yeah. it's like all right. Real quick, real quick. Then it's a real banger, quick. like out of nowhere. So it's like, like, like it don't even take me that long. Right? Like a verse, I write a verse in my phone, like two minutes. Yeah. That's cap. <laughs> chemistry, <though. laughs> nah, chemistry though. Chemistry, nah, chemistry, pretty good. Write verses fast. Yeah. We just work fast. So. Make yeah. the music fast. So but we just don't rush the process. Yeah. Definitely no, get it done. Yeah. Definitely get it done. What's your creative process when making music? Do y'all like to just? Go in the studio and just flow, you know, and just vibe and go. Do y'all like to write? Um, see me, I had got out of the writing sense or whatever because I was like, I had worked with this guy Trizzle one time, and after that, Crazy. he was just like, <laughs> I can't stop freestyling. After we stopped working with each that that one time we worked with each other, I couldn't stop freestyling my songs. I can't like write no more. I get writer's block or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So. I just got to freestyle my song. I got to hop in the booth, just freestyle. So that's how I do it. And I'm a writer. Like I write. I'm started off writing. I'm probably gonna write to the day I, you know, D I E. But 
I'm gonna be right forever. But uh, freestyling these guys, my team, they got me. They got me freestyling now. Like I actually just freestyled a song like, the other like probably like two days ago. Like, really? I came in and just like, laid something down like, quick. See, y'all got me in there. Y'all, y'all, yeah, they even get me there. Um, but. All right, so being as though y'all have a in-house beat maker on the team, do y'all ever still use other beats? Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I do. I I I, I do pick beats from off of YouTube, like, cause I I mix singing with songs too. Like I'm a singer, so like the beat maker that we deal with, I'm not gonna say that he don't know how to make it, it's just like the vibe he get, he wanted an energy type beat maker. So whatever energy he's getting, he's gonna make that beat, you know what I'm saying? And he just don't get like singing beat vibes all the time. So I go to YouTube and get them beats and I sing to them. But when we come in here, we straight make bangers like for the world, you know what I'm saying? Even though the singer songs for the world, but like the, ETE is really for the, for the earth. earth. We for the earth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we so, for the earth, we for everybody. Yeah, when I come in here, it's definitely a vibe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so for the the beat maker, I know he had to step out to take care, you know, take care of a session. But mm -hmm. uh, just speaking on his behalf, <clears throat> you know, being as though he make beats, do you think he feels some type of way if you don't want to, you know, rap over a beat that he bring to the table? No, not at all. Like it's all love, you know what I'm saying? Like he already understand because we already we always talk about it. So it's like. Mm -hmm. He 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 don't get feeling type of way. It is people. If we don't do that beat, somebody else gonna do that beat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He got clients, so it's like yeah. somebody else gonna do that. Mm -hmm. We get around to a beat, we gonna do that too. So I mean, it's, it's all love. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it go. Mm -hmm. uh, man, it's though y'all are a team. If a label came to the table and said, "Okay, your team is great, but we're looking to just sign you." It's an artist, it's a solo artist. I'm not signing. I'm gonna tell you why. Drop a gem real quick. I read into a lot of deals and a lot of stuff. And I watch a lot of musical movies and I'm into a lot of political stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I sign, y'all gonna have the rights to all my music that I make, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not signing that deal. I don't care how much money it is. I do a publishing deal. I can publish my own music and own my stuff. The only thing that's going to hinder that is the publishing company is going to have the rights, you know what I'm saying? But I still have the ownership of my own music, you know what I'm saying? So I do a publishing though, but I ain't going to do no regular deal just because they got all this money in my face. So, I mean, how about you, bro? I just know I'm going to be making music to the day I die. Yeah, I spell it right. D I E. I'm mm gonna -hmm. be making it to the day D I E. So I don't. I know we can. <laughs> I know we can do this on our own. So we don't really. We our own man. So that's just how I look at it. Yeah, and I'm not gonna necessarily say we don't need nobody. I mean, we yeah, definitely yeah, we, yeah, need yeah, somebody. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying, like these deals, they ain't corrupt. If if you see what a lot of people go through nowadays. They real corrupt. The like, story never. The, stories, the story, like it, it, it's so many stories out there. Like free Uzi. I'm gonna yeah, say free, free, <laughs> free dummy. If you know, you know. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You know, you know. Free Uzi. But the stories never. The stories never go right, bro. And I'm just not that artist. Like that's like that's not what I'm. That's not what I'm coming in the game looking for. I'm not coming to sign. Him. I'm not coming to sign him. Is music something y'all plan to do long term, or is it just a foundation and the start of something bigger? D.I.E. <laughs> Me, <laughs> I'm on his tip, but at the same time, music always been a passion, you feel me? I've been playing the drums since I was five, so it's like music always going to be a part of me. You feel me? I come from a whole lineage of music, so... That's going to keep on being a lineage, and I'm going to make sure it's strong in the world, make an impact, you know what I'm saying? So This is weed strong D I E. Hey, gas. Gas. You know what I'm saying? It's that earth right there. All right, both of y'all give the people a, a solo project that y'all have out that they can, you know, bump now. So I got this song out, you know what I'm saying? And it's called So What. I made it just off the humbug, just chilling, you feel me? 
And, you know, everybody liked it for some reason. I put it out, asked that they want it. They said they want it, so I put it out with streaming on SoundCloud. You feel me? I get a couple more streams, and I'm gonna put it everywhere. So, yeah, that's one of the little solo songs I got out. And I got a solo project coming out at uh, probably later on this year, probably the winter, but it's called The Love Letter. And, yeah, it's definitely gonna be for the ladies, you feel me? And for the guys that really a uh, ladies guy. So, Lover boys. Lover boys, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here. We out here, we too. Out here. So, yeah. that's coming to y'all, too. So, what you, bro? Oh, um, yeah, I have uh, no solo projects. So I have actually one solo project out. It's called Just Getting Started. Like, if you check my background on my SoundCloud, it's like when I was like straight out the basement, like making music. Like, I didn't care, like, still put music out. And just getting started, I was just getting started. And now I'm here. And I got a single out that's still probably in rotation right now. Sauce. So, if you sauce. get some sauce, you know. Come to God. <laughs> All these goofy niggas still in sauce. Yeah, uh, but I got um an upcoming project coming soon called I Am Mula Chief. Like I'm just finding myself as an artist. Like every day I'm in here working, just recording myself, just trying to find myself, and I'm getting there. So I Am Mula Chief is really soon. So the biggest question that I have for y'all is, what does Eat the Earth mean to y'all? See, it means a lot to me, though. Like, see, I made this analogy, right? We make wavy music, right? So, like, you gonna feel it when you listen. Like, you see how the earth is made up of water, you know what I'm saying? Just straight waves. So that's how I look at it. I feel like our music wavy, the earth move with the wave, and, you know, we just gonna eat the whole earth, you know. The, the water can eat the whole earth if it wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we make them do. We make our music impact the earth. Make that wavy music. You feel me? If y'all listen, y'all will understand what we're saying. So we got these two songs on iTunes right now. One called Big Flex, Big Flex. Another called Recycle Rotation. And Recycle Rotation will definitely make you understand why we call it the earth. Recycle rotation. Cause definitely in the recycle rotation. I'm in recycle rotation. Same people, same faces. Spend a lot of business on vacation. To the top, I get hundreds to make it. Let me start getting like I'm ancient. Pay the phone, man, I'm making my payment. Follow on me as soon as I came in. Visit pictures, I just painted. I'm in recycle rotation. Same people, same faces. Spend a lot of business on vacation. To the top, I get hundreds to make it. Let me start getting like I'm ancient. Eat the earth, uh. Man, eat the earth, man. It's a lot, man. Like, eat the earth. That's my heart. I feel like I put my heart into this music, so eat the earth is my heart, so this earth is my heart, everything around me is my heart, so. Yeah, I was following up with y'all on uh, Instagram, and I saw, you know, your bio, you have a project named Flame coming soon, is that a single or a whole project? It's a whole, yeah, that's a whole EC project. Basically gonna be an album. Flame. <laughs> Flame? <laughs> Tell them what it mean. Flame. It mean five, like just hella five. Like, mm -hmm. Just I ain't, five. I ain't being cocky. You know, but, but the real meaning of flame is forever living amongst my evolution. So I mean, every day we evolve. Every day, every day. We always living against ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So just trying to get do better. That's the flame. Mm -hmm. and then we gonna keep on dropping. Our last projects was Fall Exchange mm -hmm. and Winter 25th. Yeah, Winter 25th. They both on SoundCloud. Yeah, they both on SoundCloud. So, you know, just the third we'll be project. We gonna look out this year. We mm -hmm. gonna be. We dropped. We dropped a, a lot whole of bunch we, this we, year. We, 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 oh yeah, hold up. We forgot to tell them that is <laughs> yeah. a video to Fatality coming out this year. Oh, you yeah. know. It's definitely gonna be a vibe. Sub we ain't zero. gonna say <laughs> when it's coming out, but y'all gonna okay. see yeah. it come out. And it's gonna be a vibe. It's called Fatality. Yeah. It's featuring me. Hey. Oh, Play by that bread, it's gonna be a fatality. Yeah. I got them shit like them niggas got allergies. Fucking and dipping, don't need no formality. I don't do no front and I need all that cash on me. It's made by Trizzle Banging and my man's fatality. Yeah. So, you feel me? We really coming hard this year. Sub Zero. You just got fatality. Do y'all have any upcoming shows or performances? Uh. Mm. Not right this moment. Nah, nah, not this moment. We looking though. Yeah, we looking. Hopefully somebody. But nah, it's been it's been people like 
like that been like talking to me, trying to like pull me in and get me some slots for real. So yeah, we need, we we about, need to to make some, we about to make some things. Shot How can people shit. book y'all? Uh, my email was in my email. Email definitely. Email was everywhere. Just email well. me. You feel what I'm saying? Email definitely in my bio. Yeah, definitely. Um, I definitely got the email click too. Oh yeah, we, we got email straight. We got the ETE. Uh, yeah, we email. definitely got the ETE page. That you, you can go. To, email. You can go follow e, Go follow ETE dot mm-hmm. Follow us. And you can follow me at Varsachi. Stay true. And you I'm can follow me at Moolah dot Chief. Two A's. Like that little battery, I'm charged this shit. We charged, we all getting charged this shit. Venus though, Venus though, y'all on the rise. When y'all get y'all big break, do y'all plan to stay in Baltimore? No. No. I'll be honest with you. Because I'm going to be completely honest. I want all of us to go. <laughs> I feel like Baltimore is <laughs> not ready for our music. And. That's the reason why we don't really got a big break here. So I mean, like once we really do catch our big break, I think I'm going straight take it to like, yeah, let me take it to the LA, to the LA uh, barriers. Yeah. yeah, we might go to LA, Cali or something. Or yeah. if not LA, so we might shoot down the A. You yeah, know, down the A. You feel me? Either that, you know, where is really musical cultural? You know what I'm saying? So it's like we gotta get somewhere where the music really popping at. You know what I'm saying? So. That's yeah. Definitely a move. Yeah. yeah, that definitely makes sense. I, I think I think Cali be a good fit for y'all. Definitely, that's definitely a good fit. We 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 different. We dress different. Like a lot of people give us the vibe. Like y'all don't even look like y'all from here. Like is y'all yeah. from here? Yeah, my like, whole life is cool, bro. Like everybody, like you, just, you from here? Like, everybody just think I'm from somewhere. Yeah, I'm from down there. Like my first performance. Yeah. You feel me? I had performed down the uh, Cultural Arts Center, for a big guy, and. and Basically, they was like, oh, where you from? My baby, you from here? They thought I wasn't from here because of the way I dress, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, I'm I'm from I'm from Baltimore, from South Baltimore, though. You feel me? They, they were shocked that I'm from Baltimore, but that goes to show you that, like, we really different. Yeah. Like, to other people out here, we different. So we're coming. Yeah, we definitely coming hard, so just be on the lookout. That's all. Give me a little bit about how y'all feel about Nipsey Hussle, man. You know, his whole situation. That's wild. That's really wild. People do anything for money. We ain't gonna speak about it, about what happened. I just but know, I just know that shit. I just give out all my condolences. <laughs> yeah, I just know that shit. I, I didn't know bro like that, but like. That's wild. That shit still impacted my, you feel me? It's still yeah. in my heart. I ain't never listened to his music like that. I ain't Same. gonna say I didn't, yeah, I ain't gonna cap. Like I, I ain't was, know nothing bro. about bro. I ain't, I ain't know nothing, nothing about him for real. And I mean, I, I knew about a Nipsey Hustle. You feel me? So I knew about his movement with Dr. Savior and all that. But you feel me? I never really bumped his music to really, you feel me? Like, give it like a nice little. Oh, I am feel so sad. I'm ready to cry. You know what I'm saying? Like I never really yeah. felt like that. But I definitely feel bad about the yeah. whole thing because that's petty. <laughs> like. And it's really over money, you know what I'm saying? So it's petty. All I say is all respect to Nip. Respect. I ain't no bro, but all respect to Nip. All right, Pete Nipsey. And we definitely made a tribute song for Nipsey Hustle, me and my cousin recently. It's called Pain. That's coming out soon, too. Shout out Moody Yayo, you know what I'm saying? He definitely helped me with this music, too, man. Him got a project coming. He ain't here right now. He ain't part of the group. It's just a like off the grid type of project. Mm-hmm. Family, so. We definitely coming with that too. But other than that, I feel real bad for the whole situation. Like, it's crazy. Like, people do anything for cash. That's all right. I got one more question in reference to Nipsey, and you know, then we're gonna move on. Uh, but today on my Instagram, it was kind of in an uproar. People were saying that Lil Scooter in Baltimore is being compared to a Nipsey Hustle. Do you guys think that's a bit of a reach, or do you see a comparison? Indeed. <laughs> See, I don't want to be a, yeah, I don't, a, I don't really a person that'll be like this, but they reaching. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I don't really be it's like, this, like shit. Yeah. school is gonna be a face of Baltimore. Like if he came up, he did come up. But if he if he made it to where he was supposed to be, he would have been a face of Baltimore, and he yeah. would have definitely school had definitely, an impact. School to, school to definitely, but he definitely was the one. Was he doing what Nipsey was doing? So that's kind of a reach. You feel what I'm I definitely, saying? I definitely agree. Uh, Nipsey I think was doing a, a whole lot of other stuff, really trying 
stop the violence. And he was, like I'm saying, with Dr. Sebi, you know what I'm saying? He was doing a whole bunch of other stuff. But at the same time, he had money, too. So I, I feel, I just feel like they're reaching for that. But right, so I get I, what they're saying. After you guys get your, your one big hit song, you know that you take y'all to the next level, and you could choose one big artist to feature on a remix. Who would it be and why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you going? <laughs> no, you go first. You right. go first. I'm I'm straight out the back. So young thug. Um, I'm breaking it straight out the back. Way. I'm I'm going straight to the studio. Dog. We making we making we going crazy. Like, I don't you know who I'm doing a song with? <laughs> Cause he ain't yeah. never failed as yet, and that's Drake. Every person he. Features on a song with he ain't failed them yet. I mean they all somewhere doing what they gotta do. You feel me? That's why you gotta give him the status. He's a goat. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I do a, I do a feature with Drake. And I knew he'd make it bang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's who I got my 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 eye on. Like, yeah, I just know Thug. Yeah, Drake Drake hard Drake hard. Drake I just know Thug. I know Thug Thug do the same thing yeah, though. He you really know, he got a lot of little kids out here. He's so. not like his voice like his, he just know how he, like like his shit is an instrument like he just really like know how to really be he be just hitting shit back like whoa I ain't know what Drake do that. Right, so let's get back to this project, Flames. How many tracks are we expecting to have? And is this a strictly team project, or do you have any features? We might have a feature from Trizzle, but we, feel like we all like a team. So yeah, I'm not going to say we, that. We, it's, lock, we lock straight in. So basically, it's really a team project. It's, it's really team, like bro. not no features on there. We all doing it as one. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, y'all probably expecting... Mm, I'm gonna give y'all ten plus because I don't we don't really know right now, so I'm gonna give y'all ten plus. So we definitely it's gonna be a nice little album for y'all flame. Flame and remember us. Forever living against my evolution. Alright. Once you get ETE established, mm -hmm. will you add artists to the movement or if not just allow them to be a part? Would y'all mm -hmm. sign artists to the movement? I feel like we should add. I'm one particular artist, and he one particular, particular artist. artist, and we got a beat maker. You know what I'm saying? And it's so like I mean, we all helping each other. We all love music. We all love making right. music. So it's like that's why I said if you feel like you eat the earth, you eat the earth. Like if you feel like in your heart you eat the earth, that's what we are. I actually got a couple of people that I, you feel me? I'm just trying to figure them out right now. Like, but once I see that they really grinding and they really yeah. hungry, then yeah. we go on. Your time. Your time and welcome time. to the group, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because they be coming around a lot lately. So, yeah, once you really feel like, yeah, once we see that you're really working, you feel me? Because, like I said, I just met these guys like a year ago. And mm -hmm. I, I had to really show them, like, they ain't know who I was. And they ain't know that I make good music. You feel what I'm saying? I really low-key had to prove myself. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, that's, that's just, it is side. how it is. That's <laughs> how you got to do it everywhere. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So uh -huh. once guy. people show us that they hungry, they can be in the group. You know what I'm saying? Just got to keep working. We going to just keep going up from keep here. Going. Like, it's nowhere else but up from here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so tell me a little bit about Camp David. Well, Camp David is Camp basically David. like the upper echelon of ETE. Like, they like basically the management team that's going to be doing a lot of the promotion and stuff for ET. So they call it Camp Davis um, with my father and my uncle and basically the head of the studio, Nate. Mm -hmm. So they all just teaming up to push us. Yeah, so, big branch. Yeah, big branch. That's yeah. the big branch. top branch of ET, Camp David. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it for us today, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's your boy Varsachi. And it's your boy Chief, Mula, Mula Chief. And um, we are ETE. ETE. And yeah. we're out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. We're definitely gone. Yeah. <laughs>